Hello people, Stuffy here. Today I'm going to show you how to do an automatic camera change in the uh, popular game Trackmania. Uh, th this can be done in all the Trackmania games I think. Um, there's several methods, uh, or several techniques even, to do to have the automatic camera change. Uh, today I'm going to show you the one that I, I personally use when I'm building my tracks because uh, I feel it's more efficient and uh, it's much easier to use than other methods. So first of all, you have to build your track. This is my track. Amazing, huh? Uh, anyway, uh, you build your track and then you validate your track. If I do that, go to this little flag icon down in the bottom left of your corner of your editor. Uh, click on the flag icon and all you have to do is just basically race through your track as you normally would. Which I shall do just now. There we go, track done. Very easy. In the validation. Now you'll see uh, they've successfully validated it because you'll have a little time pop up down here in the bottom left. So once you've done that, click on this little camera icon here, which is just along from the flag icon. And it says enter replay mode down at the bottom down here. Click on that, and then you want to click the edit button next to in game. Now it brings up a new screen. Now what you see here under your your, icon, your cursor even is a uh, trigger point. Uh, now you can place these trigger points, and what they do is they uh, allow you to place effects in the race, such as camera changes or when text comes up or when a picture shows up. Uh, so it's a very versatile uh, tool within the editor. So what you do is you click on the block where you want your camera change to start. So I want my camera change to start here. Click on that. Now you'll see, once you've clicked on it, your car should appear within the, the trigger point. Uh, if it does, then that's a good sign. If it doesn't, uh, then you might want to try again and try and place your trigger point somewhere else. Once you've placed your trigger point, go to the bottom left here and click on the third icon along here. It's like a little 3D box and it says edit trigger. Click on that once and you'll see your main screen changes. Next, you move along the row of icons. You go right one from the one that you just clicked on and it says add track. Click on that and it'll bring up this menu. This is, these are, this is a menu of all the effects that you can do in your tracks. The one you want is camera race, which is this one here. And it's important that you choose camera race. So click on that once and I'll bring up a few options up at the top here. What you want to do is next to camera here, you want to go through the options until you get one called internal. Uh, this camera view is basically on your front bumper so you can see a lot of the track in front of you. So when change that to internal and then up at the top here it says keep playing and you'll see two little circles what you want to do is you click the right one and uh, what happens is both the circles will light up uh, it's important that both of them light up so once you've done that you go back down to the bottom again and you click on the far left icon at the bottom here which says add clip click on that once and it'll bring you back to a uh, few far away from your track then you go around to the, the end of the loop and you select the point at the end of the loop where you want your camera to change back to its original view. Place the trigger point down there and you'll see your car shows up again. And then hit the third icon along again which says edit trigger. And your view will change again. And that's it. That's the job done. Job done. It's pretty easy. Um, there's nothing really too complicated about it. Once you've done that, uh, click on the top far top left icon, which says exit. Click on that. Click on the little flag again to revalidate your track. And you should see that your camera will change automatically for the loop. So we've got an external view. Automatically changes to an internal. Changes back to its original view. Very easy, very effective way of uh, having your camera change automatically. So go to invalidation. Sorry, go back in, and it works for any view. 
go into a different view this time. Automatically changes in. Automatically changes out. Nice and easy. So that's that's all there is to it. I uh, hope you found this video uh, helpful. Um, if you've got any questions about it, uh, don't hesitate to ask me. Um, and yeah, I hope uh, hope this helps you build some really cool tracks in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the track. Come on over, circle, why don't you ask me? Don't you forget there's a price you can pay Cause I am the game and I want to